Now there's a lot of things you can do at this point in the game, such as talk to the other two characters, but what I'm going to do now is talk to Jane. Um, Hi! Hey Jane, how's it going? You must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Okay. Uh, actually, no. Not right now. I'm Maybe already later. playing a I'd game. Like it's called Nancy Drew, first. The Curse of but Blackmore sure, Manor. what do you want to know? About Mummy? Uh, I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Do you know why she doesn't want to be seen? Yeah. I think maybe it's because of the lady in black. I was oh, playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't black? there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mommy's nightstand. Oh no. The woman left something? The lady put a note on Mommy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mommy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Not right now, but maybe later. You can come in any time you want, even if I'm not here. Oh. I've got some really special okay. things. I'm Woo. so happy you've come, Nancy. I hope you can make Mummy feel better. I hope so, too. And now what you can do is explore Jane's room. What's this? That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Okay, uh, Adam. Who is Adam? Oh, uh, like he married Eve. Duh, no kidding. Oh. I actually don't know anything about him. I think he was the son of Hugo, though, but I forget. Let's try Josephus. Who was Joseph, er, Josephus? Yeah, they used a lot of Latin names back then and weird spellings. He became like a priest or parson or something. Interesting. Who was born in 1763? That was Isabel. She wrote Whoa. letters about the French Revolution and actually saw Marat's dead body in the bathtub. Talk about gross! Whoa, okay, how does she have all these things memorized? That's really good. Who was Esther? <sighs> Esther Pemberlin Romberg, born in 1897 and died in 1951. Her friends called her Polly. Interesting, so she's being forced to learn all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Oh, Bet you see? wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. She's being forced to learn about all these people. French, Latin, science, math, English. What does she need to know, learn about English for? She knows how to speak English. You had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. Aww. When? I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, all right? Okay. Don't mean to hurt your feelings there. Yay! Aww. Aww. Let's try it again. Yay! Aww. It stopped. Aww. And this is... I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total haughty. Oh yeah, total haughty he is. On the Hot Throb channel. And what else can you do in Jane's room? Oh, you can check out this. You've got ancient runes. Yay, ancient runes. Yay, yay. That's how you spell Jane Penvalin in ancient runes. Which I think is important for something. Ooh, and a book of Roger monsters. Roger gave that to me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Quite right, quite right. Okay, you're supposed to read this to learn about werewolves. And also known as lycanthropy, which is the disease where you turn into a werewolf. And his phone number just might come in handy. You see, Linda. Linda might be turning into a werewolf. Dun 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 dun! Who's this? That's my mum. My real mum. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. That's pretty cool, I guess. What is this book? Don't know, really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Hmm. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? Ugh, haven't you asked that already? Nancy's met Brady Armstrong. Why doesn't she say anything about that to Linda? Not very nice, Nancy. In any case, 
That was written by Charles Pemberton way back in like the 1500s.、Huh. When I read it, it seemed really familiar, you know. Okay, so that's going to be a puzzle later on in the game. And now let's go outside. Oh, you、ah. startled me.、Oh. You must be Nancy. I'm Jane's tutor, Ethel. Oh, hey, Ethel, how's it going? Hello. How do you do? Jane is very excited. You're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. Aww. Wow, I feel so embarrassed. I didn't think I'd have a fan club all the way over here. Yes, well, I'm sorry, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, okay. I guess I'll be going then. Okay. It was a pleasure meeting you, Nancy. Our paths will cross again, I'm sure. Oh. Okay. So that's Ethel,、um, Jane's tutor. Now let's talk to Jane. I mean, Linda. Talking to Linda again. I'm sorry to bother you again, but、mm-hmm. Jane told me about the lady in black. What lady in black? Jane never said anything to me about a lady in black. Oh. That kid is so weird. I just don't get her. Huh? She seems very、She's、concerned、nice. about you. <sighs> yes, I know. I just don't know how to be a stepmother to her. She's just so strange. Look, just forget about me. You can't help me, and that's that. I'm sorry, Linda. You have to give me a chance. Yeah. I'm so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. Come on, Linda. 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 Oh. I made a promise to your mother, and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. Okay. Well, that's Linda. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip to the next day. That's what I'm going to do. Do 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 do. Skipping to the next day. Skipping to the next day because something happens with Linda when you skip to the next day. <sighs> Set the alarm for seven in the morning. Whoa. Huh? What is that? Oh, baby, I'd better have a look around. Odd chanting in the middle of the night. Whoa. I don't like that. I can't leave Blackmore yet. Huh? Weird. Well, there's nothing to do in any case except go back, go back to sleep. Ah, what? No. Ah, I'm confused and lost at the same time. Anyway, those were the mysterious voices chanting in the middle of the night. Now let's get up at 2 p.m. <whistles> meh, meh, meh. Wake up. Wake up, Nancy. All right, and what's that? Again, he was Randolph's grandson and the first initiate. Odo did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction because he was stupid. No, Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper qualities skip every generation. We talked about that. Remember? I guess. Oh wow, this is、Milo、a long conversation. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather, and with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Cannes. That was a battle fought in 1417 during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war? Huh? Oh my! Look at the time. We need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. No!、Oh, shut down by Ethel. Okay, now let's talk to Jane. I mean, Linda.